Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So the PTS has opened. Playtesting is underway for this summer's Test Your Metal update, bringing with it, amongst other things, three new public events, which have been quite good fun to try out. So today we're going to take a look at the titular event, Test Your Metal, and have a look at how that's changed, because it has already been on PTS once before. So let's jump in. Okay, before we get stuck in, usual order of business. Of course, this is unreleased content. Everything here is subject to change as it's on the public test server. If you guys want to avoid seeing any of this stuff before it goes live, then now is the opportune moment to bow out. So uh, with that out of the way, let's jump in, take a look at Test Your Metal. So yeah, Test Your Metal was on the PTS in the last round of testing before the Invaders from Beyond update. So if you haven't seen that video already, I will link that one for you so you can check it out and have a look at this event in a bit more detail. But with a quick overview, when the event kicks off, you head up to the Metal Dome, which is just a bit north from Fort Atlas, just down from uh, Monongah Mine, the same sort of area. Probably gets nuked a lot with uh, a colossal problem, but it's a good little spot. And we have a big hole in the ground with a dome over the top of it, which has actually had an additional update since it was initially added into the game. It's now got a roof, which changes things up a little bit. Otherwise, the location inside is pretty much the same as it was. So once we arrive, we'll talk to Initiate Pappas, who works for the Brotherhood of Steel, funnily enough. The Brotherhood are a little concerned about what these Rust Eagles, an offshoot of the uh, Blood Eagles, are up to in terms of building warbots. So alongside his squad, the Gladiators of Steel, we head down into the Metal Dome and fight off waves of robots. The idea being that we keep the Gladiators of Steel alive and defeat the robots in order to get rewards. So you've got three waves of different enemies. They've added a few new types of robots, which is quite cool since the last PTS event, but otherwise it's broadly the same. Still a few little uh, jitters with it, but on the whole it's quite cool. Just sort of head on down there, blast away at the robots in various waves, try and keep the Brotherhood members alive. If they do go down, you can stim pack them. They are also susceptible to friendly fire perks, so you can spray them down with a flamer and heal them up. Did see a few players doing that, which is quite good fun. The little area that you're competing in, the Metal Dome itself, has some cool little features and uh, character to it. It's a nice fun place to hang out. I do like it quite a lot. And there's a good little bit of banter amongst the uh, Brotherhood of Steel members as well, which is quite cool and fun to check out. But yeah, there's a few various little challenges to complete inside taking out these robots as well. There's uh, specific robots that you have to take out quite quickly. Obviously, you have to defend the guys, amp up the crowd by uh, emoting, stuff like that. There's a few little bits and pieces to it to keep it interesting. And uh, the variety in this one is quite fun. It feels like quite a busy event. It's something that both Moonshine and Jamboree and Eviction Notice could draw on a little more to try and make those a little bit more exciting. But those two events, they're fine. They definitely need a bit of work, but um, one of the big things they do need is kind of a little bit more to do, I think. Yeah, this event's quite good fun. We blast away at the robots. They're not particularly tough, these robots. I don't think this is intended to be the highest level public event ever, which is fine. But uh, some of the robots could certainly do with a bit more resistance, given that uh, particularly high level players will blast through them in no time. As I don't know if you'll see it in the footage here, but there's definitely at least one occasion where the final boss type bot was... Um, one that I basically soloed in a matter of seconds and I don't have the most powerful build out there, don't have the least powerful build, but I was able to cut it down very very quickly with my um, Ultrasight Gatling laser so maybe a little bit of buff needed to some of the enemies particularly towards the end but um, it is quite a fun event. Rewards wise it seems to be basically the same as it was before we've got um, a few different bits and pieces as you would usually expect from a public event and also the opportunity to get the new Botsmith armor set which is Similar to the robot armor with slightly different stats, and I'm not entirely sure if it looks different, but it definitely looks vaguely similar. The basic setup is the same. It might be a different skinned, but uh, yeah, it's similar, but a little bit different to the robot armor. Not entirely sure how it fits into the larger picture and compares to some of the other better high tier armors out there. So as to how popular it's going to be, I don't know. It might just be a, a collection thing, maybe something you stick in your camp on a mannequin for display purposes. Nonetheless, the event itself is particularly good fun and the uh, standard rewards like the legendary cores are always worth having as well. So it's pretty cool. So, not massive changes since the last PTS, just basically a range of new robots is the biggest change. And uh, yeah, still a couple of little things need some work. The pods that the robots come out of don't always open, which is not the end of the world. It doesn't stop the robots coming out, but uh, they could definitely do with the animations polishing a little there. 
But yeah, quite cool. So uh, do hope you found this one interesting and informative. If you did, please do consider dropping subs and likes. I very much appreciate it. Down below the video, you can find social media links, the merch store, and channel memberships on that blue button as well if you're interested in supporting the channel in that way. I very, very much appreciate it. It really, really helps out. Massive thank you to everybody who's done that already. And if you get a chance, do join us for live streams as well. We are, of course, playing Fallout 76 and playing a few other games as well. We've cleared quite a few already this year. It's been good fun. So I do hope to see you there. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.